This is an international asset of enormous cultural value. I've visited railway museums in Africa, in Asia, elsewhere in Europe, in North America, and there's nowhere there's anything like this. I once bought a US senator, Paul Sarbanes, who's a great railway enthusiast to see this museum. In his state of Maryland, in Baltimore, they have America's biggest and best railway museum. And when he came here, he was knocked out. He said, this is just in a league of its own. And it is in a league of its own, and rightly so for the country that invented the railways in this region of the country, in the northeast of England. If you want to see George Stevenson's plan, engineering drawings for Stevenson's rocket, so here in the museum, you can see them. You want to see the locomotive, the Mallard, which has still today the world speed record for a steam locomotive, is here in the museum, accompanied as it happens by five other Gresley class locomotives assembled here in the museum to mark the anniversary of that great world record breaking run. There's nowhere else in the world that could put together exhibitions like that. This is a, a really important asset. I've been asking questions in Parliament. First, will the government guarantee not to put admission charges on the railway? <laughs> and I can give you some good news from the government. The answer to that is they give a guarantee, no admission charges. But I also asked a question, will they guarantee sufficient money from the government to keep this museum and all the science museum museums open? And they wouldn't give that commitment. Well, I believe we can make them change their mind. There's a debate in Parliament on Wednesday, and we'll be pressing this question to the Secretary of State for Culture. She has a responsibility to protect our national culture and our national heritage. If this or any of the museums were to close, it would be an act of cultural vandalism. Yeah. And we must stop the Secretary of State for Culture from making that kind of mistake. And I believe we can do so. But even when we've got that commitment that we're seeking, we need to keep up the pressure. Because the budget cut on this museum and the others in the Science Museum group has been about 25% over the last three years, and we're expecting another cut to come. And that means less money to purchase assets, less money to conserve the assets they have, the artifacts in the museum, less money to research and promote the treasures which are here, less support for people online, you know, a million people come to this museum, but six million a year visit it online, people from throughout the world. So we've got to keep up that pressure. Now, are you in good voice? Yes. Can I hear again? Yes. I want to say thank you to the director, the staff, and most of all the volunteers who keep this museum open. Can we say? Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! You want the museum to stay open? Yeah! Are you sure? Yeah! Will you campaign? Yeah! Yes! Let's keep this museum open. Thank you for coming. Yeah! Please all do give a donation if you can as we all go in now. And uh, if you haven't already signed the petition, please do, because it is so important that we save this museum. And this museum, above all else, above most other museums across the country, has more and more families and young people that come here. And if we're going to inspire the next generation of engineers that will create the technology of the future, this museum must stay open. Thank you.